Welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel. Last episode, I got a little bit annoyed. Okay, quite annoyed. Uh, we lost three games in a row at the end of the season. I think it ended up being four in a row after the off-screen games. And uh, we finished in eighth place in Serie B. And we could have finished. We could have got automatic promotion. But we, can, we were nowhere near good enough for it. We lost all three of our live comms. And we only just finished in the playoffs. So we could have missed out entirely. So we've got to go through a preliminary, first of all, Carpi. And then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, there could be as many as three games in this episode. I'll have Carpi and then uh, both legs of the semi-final if we get there. But we will see what happens. So uh, join me for a new episode of Palmer from the Ashes. And I promise I'll be a bit calmer this time. So there's not a lot else to say really apart from let's get into some football because we're facing Carpi away from home in the pre preliminary. Cittadella and Vicenza are already into the semis. We will face Vicenza if we do beat Carpi. So there's always that to look forward to. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. The stats are there. You can see them there. Cherry's got 19 goals. I'd love to get 20 before the end of the season. He's doing really well for me. Kofi Agay is doing well but he keeps getting booked still. 22 yellow cards he's on now for the season. It's ridiculous. Let's just jump straight into it. So, um, see how we do. Okay, I'm going to do a quick pick and see what it gives us. So, it's going to put Galliano up front. Okay. When's our... I don't know when... Oh, the playoffs... The semi-finals right there. So, we're going to struggle with the uh, fitness, I think. That's going to be an issue. But we're going to play our full-strength team for this preliminary and see how we do. I'm just going to change Bot to a deep-line playmaker. And the rest of this, I'll keep it as it is, I think. Change Galeano to a Trecatista, but the rest of it, I'll leave it as it is. Uh, just change the bench a bit. Okay, I'm happy with that, so um, we'll leave it on counter. I'm going to put it on flexible instead, to try and change that up a bit. Let's change some of these around. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Okay, let's uh, get into it then. I am going to say prove a point, so uh, I'm going to passionately say, show me what you can do to break us out of this bad run, because we are on a bad run. We've lost four games in a row, and I don't like that. So let's just have a bit of faith in them. You know, we, they can do it. So just see if we can will them into it. Let's see how we do. Let's uh, get on with the game. Okay, we are run away. The table isn't back because I lost it again. So we'll have to reset preferences. But there's no table. This is a straight knockout. So uh, you can see the other preliminary game there between Medina and Verona. Let's see if we can uh, progress to the semi-finals and get a tie against Vicenza. Now they've got a throw in here in a decent position. And they've got the good ball back. Adamo to Crescenzi, and it's Carpani, he's going to have a shot, oh well, well wide, it was a block actually, sorry, a gay with the blocked shot, but another corner here, it's headed away by Cherry, but not very far at all, here's Basoli again, and a good tackle by uh, Agay, and Improta's got the ball now, potential counter attack here, Cherry is on it, Improta again, now he's got space to move into, finds Botta, nice ball to Galliano, but it's cut out, okay, no shots for us yet, but... Play's not too bad. We're having a bit more of the ball, but we've yet to register a shot. Throw in by Newlands here in a decent position. Cherry is on the ball. Here's Newlands again. Can he make a cross? He finds him Prota. Back to Newlands. Get the ball in there. Come on. No, he's lost it. But Agie recovers it. Here's Cherry. And then Prota on it again. Cherry's through. And Galini makes the save. I think it was just going wide. But that's a decent chance. Oh, look. It's a booking for Agie. That's not surprising to see that at all. Carpi have had a lot of shots, but um, they're actually having a bit more of the ball now as well. And half time, Sin, you know, a good chance for us. But, you know, we're doing okay. We can come out of it with a win. I don't know what to say for this, actually. Let's ask Rodolfi. He's going to say good performance, keep it up. So, yeah, that's okay. Keep him positive, I say. So, yeah, absolutely. Okay, second half is underway. I want to see us shoot a bit more. Possession is equal, but Carpi have had eight shots in total compared to our two. That's not great. And we're not really doing anything on that left side. Dimo Fett has gone to 6.4. Barlocco, uh, that left side, I thought I'd strengthened it. Obviously, we haven't. Dimo Fett is having a terrible game out there. I'm going to take him off. We're going to bring on uh, Thomas Kupitz. Uh, with uh, not quite an hour played. Get two uh, wingers on there. And um, we're going to clear the ball to the flanks as well. 
There's a highlight here. Nadarovic on the ball for Carpi. Pass it to Cesarini. Here's Cinelli to uh, Almici on that right. The right back on there. And there's a goal. Great. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a very short video. So we see it again. Almici. It's the header. Was it New? I don't know if it was Newlands, but the header. And I don't know what happened there. That was awful. But we're not shooting nearly enough. I've put shoot on sight on and hit early crosses and more direct and high tempo and all that. And we'll just have to go for it now. We've got 64 minutes played. We do have another highlight here. I don't know who it's going to be for. It's in midfield at the moment. Here's Carpani though. And he has a shot. Bends it around the post though. It's a goal kick. 75 minutes. Running out of time here and we're 1-0 down. I've got to go overload because we have to... You know, it's, it's all or nothing really. We don't have anything to lose. Cherry is struggling and I want to try and keep him for the next game. So we're going to get Selva on there and we're just going to go for it. If there is a next game that is because we go out here and that's it. Season's over. Me cover the goal kick though. Goes long. And it's bo with Botter. This could be a good chance here. 18 minutes played. Improta to Agie. Come on. Go a through ball somewhere. Galliano. Selva. Oh, double save. And it's a goal kick from that. But Barlock has got to throw in here. Galliano on the ball. Hasn't scored in about a dozen games, but not okay. Yeah, oh, is that no goal or was it Selva? It was Selva. It's 1 1. We are still in it. Uh, I'm going to switch it back to standards and put that in structures. But that overload has really helped. We've had a lot more shots. And 23 minutes played, it is 1 1. So we do. We will have extra time to play at this rate, I think. And it is going to be extra time, unless there is a very late chance here. A very late goal. Nadarovic is on the ball for Carpi. Newlands clears it up pitch. Right. Um, hold on, it's not a draw. So what happens now? Bec oh, for fuck's sake, really? They... Got through because they're a higher seed. That's stupid. Do you know when I said it was going to be calmer? That's just made me very less calm. We've lost because we were seeded lower. Fuck's sake. So that's it. That's the season done. Just like that. I thought we'd done well to get a draw there. And we're out. That's it. Bye bye. <laughs> Great. So uh, yeah. That's it for another season. We're back in Serie B again for a third season. Don't like it. And next season we are getting promoted. There's no two ways about it. All that nonsense last episode about, oh, if I don't get promoted, I'm done, no more. I was angry. So uh, we're going to keep going with this. You seem to want to keep it going. So I'm going to keep it going for your sake. Press conference. Let's do this because, um, you know, I've got a bit of time to spare now. I've only been recording for 11 minutes. There's going to be a very short video otherwise. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. Right. Let's uh, do some of these like team talks and send them on the holiday and stuff like that. And we're going to be going into a fifth year. For me, that's something new for YouTube. I haven't, I've not, you know... I, I haven't had very long series. This, in terms of episodes, isn't my longest yet. Uh, Circle of Rouge was, uh, I think it was 43. We're only on about 35, but we've just finished our fourth season. So I'm going through seasons quicker than I was. But as far as progress, this is going to be the furthest I've got in a Football Manager save, which is actually not that far. Like, if you consider lots of people are in like the 2030s and 2040s sometimes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's enough um, drivel. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at this. So, Venucci has somehow actually got into the best 11. I suppose he's the best left back we've had because we've had absolute shit ones. Um, Newlands has actually been really good this season. Yeah, Mikulu still keeps his place. Sartovic made it in. But, yeah, he, he sort of lost his place because we sort of went in and out of using that cam. So, that's what happened there. End of season awards. Fans player of the season was Daniel Kofi again, who was uh, probably suspended for half the season. Goal of the season was Botter. Signing of the season was Cherry. And he also got Young Player of the Season. We'll see if we can bring him back. Because he got 19 goals for us in the league this season, didn't he? Yeah. So And, and 10 assists as well, which is really nice. Average 7.27. So I'd love to try and get him back for another year. We'll see if we can do that. But yeah, I'll have a look at some signings. I'll have a look at some signings and stuff. Uh, and I'm, I need to improve that left side like dramatically. We need a good good left back. And that's where most of my money is going to go. Uh, season review. Well, we're expected to finish top half. And we did actually get into the playoffs. We did lose in the um, preliminary. But never mind. We lost to Chisena in the fourth qualifying round. That's not too bad. We finished eighth. 
Best performance was against uh, Cheetah Dalli. We won 4 0 away from home. Uh, but Pescara beat us 3 0 uh, around, well, in December time. We used the most players, apparently, joint, the joint most players at 28. So, yeah, that's that as well. So, that sh- shows you how often I drop people because of poor performances. Um, okay, end of season team meeting. So, here we go. Now, are we going to go for playoffs or are we going to go for automatic promotion? I think we have to go for promotion. I'm going to do it. Um, 12 players say it's a huge challenge, but one I know the squad's up for. Uh, eight players and a lot of good players in there as well saying, do you really think we're capable of getting automatically promoted? I'm dubious and can't be the only one. I'm very confident we can do what I said and I won't set off for anything less than your best in helping us achieve it. Okay, Newlands has uh, done a U-turn, but there's still a few people that think it's ambitious. I'm going to say I respect that each of you has your own opinion. Okay, that could could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse as well. There's seven players there that have had a decreased morale because of it, but we will see how we do. Uh, confidence review. Our job status is very secure, so that's still okay. Uh, Cherry's signing's been very good. Uh, Agay's been playing well when he's on the pitch, when he's not getting sent off. Uh, injury reports. So, yeah. Actually, we've been okay with injuries this season, really. Apart from, we lost Cupid's for a few weeks. And some other guys. But in terms of longer term injuries, I think we've been okay. So, that's not too bad. Uh, yearly training summary. What's this? Uh, so, those guys have apparently improved. Koliakko's improving, which is very nice. He's a two-star left-back. So, he could be, um... He could be the, the one we're looking for. He... The games he's played, he's been pretty poor. He did get a goal for us this season, to be fair. But maybe he's the key to our left-back issues, because he is getting older now. How old is he? He is now 20, so he's starting to improve. He's still got potential of four stars, so... It could be something we can use. We will see. I'm going to go for a five-week preseason. We always do. So, um... What else can I do? Um, our balance is looking too good. Well, we'll have to wait and see what our transfer budgets are, actually. Let's see if we can find that out. Okay, initial budgets. Um... Oh, well, I'll have to change it, yeah, because I wiped out the transfer budget, so we've got lots of uh, wage. So let's see if we can change this. So, okay, we're not going to get very much at all. £146,000. It's not very much. But it might improve, we'll see. <laughs> but that's not a lot at all. But, um, you know, in terms of money, you know, the club is... Oh, no. The club isn't in a good position. Look, we are about eight hundred thousand pounds in debt, and we, you know, at that point, well, was it February last year? We were in, yeah, big trouble. Well, not big trouble, but we we're in about the same amount of debt. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to be relying on freezing loans, which is really annoying because we're trying to get promotion. But I say we need we need to find money where we can. I need well, I need I need to sell some of these players, and it's going to be annoying because some of these players are really really good. But if we're going to get promoted to Serie A, we need to we need to improve our squad. But we need money to do that. So it's a catch twenty two, really. You've got to lose players to sign players. So it's just working out who gets sacrificed. Really, it's not nice. What I will do f- actually before I go is have a look at some of the Bosmans. So uh, that was me looking for left backs. Uh, right. So let's clear that. Okay. Right, so quick search. So we'll go contract status. It's 30th of May. So I think if we go expiring one month, you'll get all the guys whose contracts are expiring. Me too is a possibility. Wow, okay. 33 years old. Um, we don't know a lot about him. Let's just scout him and just see. Just for fun. 33 year old Me too. Used him for Stoke actually. It wasn't great for me. Um, right, so let's first of all look at left backs. If we can see any left backs. Are there not any left backs? Or maybe it's... Th- let's put three months. That would be why. You want three months, not one month. Zeki Fryers is there. Bereka. This is the way I look for people. So go limited defender. So you've got the basic attributes there. Put it on 13. I had all this up. So apparently... Oh, and then probably match. I, I usually go for just over half in terms of matching all the attributes. So we've got some players here. So there's Zeki Fryers again, but I, I I haven't actually signed anyone that doesn't speak Italian yet, I don't think. So that's probably where we're slipping up. So I'm going to start signing foreign players. Good foreign players. So Fryers, how good is he? Okay, he's got very nice physicals. 
and uh, marking and tackling is fairly decent. He's 26, so probably at the top of his game. Is it t- contracts expiring at um, Palace? And he's in the under 21s as well. So there's him. But um, yeah, that's that's just how I go about it, really. So we're not going to have a lot of money this season, and that's a pain. But we're going to work with what we got. We're going to go for loans. We're going to try and get some free transfers. We will spend what what, what there. We will spend what money we have. So, yeah, I just got to make preparations for um for the fifth season. Really, um, let's just have a look at those scout reports before I go, and then I'll leave you and work out what I'm going to do next. Okay, so apparently me is not a worthwhile signing. Okay, that's fine. Fires could be an option. Can we see most of his stats now? I see almost all of his stats. So, okay, he looks okay, but I could probably get better than that. Mikhail Cadillac looks like an option. His wage demands are a lot. In fact, I don't think we can afford that, can we? No, so that would have to be a loan, I think. Because... He won't sign for that money. We, we won't be able to get him. Dorda from Rostock. He looks okay. So th- there's options here. But I will go for all these. And I will get them properly scouted. And see how good they really are. Sort of everywhere. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Next time I'll bring you. Um, yeah. Um, the fifth season will start next time. I don't know who we're going to be against. I don't know who's. Actually who is, who is coming up. And who's coming down let me have a look so coming up from the Lega Pro will be I'll be in Olefia coming up so we uh, we know those guys from our times in Serie C one of Venezia Feral Pisolo or Como are coming up um, potentially and who are the other groups Pisa are coming up and then oh god not Ternana again you know the song's going to come back again if they do come up and coming up from Siri, from Group C, Catanzaro, and then either Latina, Salernitana, or Juve Stabia. Weren't they in Serie D with us? Or am I... No. I'm thinking of someone else. Salernitana, though, they've been sort of around for a while. They were in Serie A a while ago. So that's a team I recognise there. But yeah, there. so that's some of the guys that could be coming up from, um, from the Lega Pro. Or that are coming up, and then some that could be coming up. Coming down from Surrey. Ah, oh, wow, okay. Cesena are down. Palermo are down. But Fiorentina are relegated. Now, that is a surprise. I mean, they were down in Surrey C sort of in the early noughties. I don't know if that was because of, like, financial troubles and stuff again, like we had. Or like Palmer had. I'm saying we. Like Palmer had. But they've been in Serie A since, well, for over 10 years. And they've been, you know, pretty stable in there as well. You know, they've been in Europe in some years but they're being relegated 19th place that's a big surprise to me look at Napoli won it as well look at Juventus's domination look and now Napoli have just done and done that but they could still lose it actually I mean Juventus can't win it Lazio are second lots of love for Lazio was my uh, first FM save on this channel at least I did a Liverpool save on on a different channel but yeah so that's what's been going on sort of elsewhere in Spain let's have a look at Europe so you're for Champions League. Uh, the final has not yet taken place, but it's Juve against Tottenham. Man City won the last Euros. Is their badge? What is wrong with their badge? Am I being dumb, or is that like a new badge or something? Is that? Oh, that is their new badge, isn't it? Isn't that? I think that's their new badge, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. But Chelsea, Juve, Barca have been sort of the sort of recent winners. And now it's going to be either Juventus or Spurs, and then the Europa League final. I think Bayern Munich won this a while ago. Yeah, Spurs won it. Then Arsenal won it. Um, Arsenal have just won, actually. They beat Barcelona 3-0. Sanchez with the double. Ox scoring. Where was this played? Uh, in France. Whose stadium is this? Can we see? Sorry, it's in Florence. Why did I say France? I think I just saw F-R-N-C-E and thought France. But no, it's this stadium here. Look, it's a square pitch. It is a square pitch as well. 98 to... I oh know that's max width. Pitch width 93 and 98. So pretty much a hockey pitch again. Okay, I've talked for long enough. Uh, now to end the video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for the support on the series. 
I'm having a bit of stress with it because of you know, not winning and stuff like that. But you guys seem to be enjoying it, so I'm going to keep it up. And I'm going to get to at least 50 episodes. That's going to be my goal for From the Ashes. And there will probably be time maybe for one more save before the new game comes out. And I do have plans for the new games. I've said on my Twitter that potentially for FM17 beta, we'll be getting an Everton save. Because Everton are a team that should be performing a lot better than they are. They've got thumps in the derby. One of the most one-sided major side derbies I can remember. They have, I'm recording this not long after the uh, FA Cup semi-final, so they won't be in Wembley. Martinez probably won't be manager at the end of the season. So um, I'm thinking Everton for my uh, first save on FM17, like for the beta at least, and then see where it goes from there. But you know, I have all sorts of ideas floating around, and I'm going to try and get an update video up very soon about my uploads as well, because this week has been pretty shitty for me in terms of uploads. I know that, and I'm sorry. But there may be changes coming to, like, when I'll be uploading, like, my schedule and stuff, so, um, sort of what days I will be uploading and stuff like that. I'm sort of trying to actually get a schedule set out so you know when you can expect videos from me. So that's what's happening there. Just look out for that. I'll try and get it filmed sort of at the weekend and put up at some point, and we'll see. But that's it that's it for this video thank you for watching guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like down below leave any comments you want to make if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on youtube hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next video where we're going to start off our fifth season which is strange for me to say i've never done it before but season five is upcoming we aren't going to have a lot of money to spend but we're going to do what we can and we're going to try and get promotion to Serie A. we're going to really really go for it this season and we're going to win live comments i think we won two this season I'm going to win more. Uh, okay, time to end the video. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in that next video. Goodbye.